Now, diamagnetism first. Diamagnetic substances are the ones in which resultant magnetic moment in atom is zero. So, atoms does not possess permanent resultant magnetic moment. When these particular substances are placed in the external magnetic field, then the magnetic moment is induced in the substance and the magnetic moment induced in the substance that is in the opposite direction of the external field. So, the field of the sample, inside the sample, that will be in opposite direction of the external field. And due to that, the resultant magnetic field inside the sample decreases for this diamagnetic materials. Clear to all of you? So, here, as we increase the external magnetic field, then inside the sample, the magnetic field continuously decreases. Now, see here, for the external agency, the North Pole and South Pole are represented here. In the diamagnetic sample placed in this magnetic field of this agency, the dipole moment is induced in the opposite direction of the field of agency, means towards the south pole of the external agency, south pole of the diamagnetic substance will be induced towards the north pole of the external agency, north pole of the sample will be induced. Now, if this diamagnetic substance is placed in non-uniform magnetic field, then also the magnetic moment will be developed inside the sample that will be as it is. But now see here, this south-south and this north-north will repel each other. Now, this is the non-uniform magnetic field and here you can observe this thing. In this particular region, the magnetic field that is a strong one and in this particular region, magnetic field that is weak one. Now, the repulsive force on this side that will be greater than the repulsive force on this side. Therefore, resultantly, your diamagnetic substance when placed in the non-uniform magnetic field, it will move from strong magnetic field region to weak magnetic field region. So from this behavior, we can understand this thing, this particular sample, that is the diamagnetic substance. See, diamagnetic substances are those which have tendency to move from stronger to the weaker part of the external magnetic field. Clear to all of you? Now some diamagnetic Magnetic materials are bismuth, copper, lead, silicon, nitrogen, and STP, water, and sodium chloride. Diamagnetism is present in all the substances. Clear? See, we already discussed this thing. When diamagnetic substance is placed in the external field, inside the substance, the magnetic field decreases. Means, in other words, we can say diamagnetic substance expels 
the magnetic field lines out of it. So, the most exotic diamagnetic materials are superconductors. These are metals cooled to very low temperatures which exhibit both perfect conductivity and perfect diamagnetism. Here the field lines are completely expelled and its susceptibility that becomes minus one and relative permeability that becomes zero. And when this happens, then this phenomenon of the perfect diamagnetism in superconductors that is called Meissner effect on behalf of the name of scientist who discovered this thing. Superconducting magnets are used for running magnetically levitated super fast trains. Clear to all of you?